contract among Turkic speaking countries, it aims to serve as a new regional tool for advancing international cooperation in Eurasian continent, particularly in Central Asia and the Caucasus. Turkic Council works on areas such as economy, education, transportation, customers, tourism, and other various fields among the member states, which will in turn contribute to the welfare on the entire region. Activities of the Council are also supported by the related and affiliated organizations, which are Parliamentary Assembly of Turkic Speak Countries, International Organization of Turkic Culture, the shortly named Turksoy, Turkic uh, International Academy, Turkic Cultural and Heritage Foundation, and the Turkic Business Council. So, what does the Turkic Council do? What is the added value it brings to the region? Dear guests, as you have seen in the film, there are three major headings under which our activities can be grouped. Let me briefly tell you about our major activities under three broad headings. The first one, the political, second, economic, and third one, cultural and educational. In the political field, first and foremost, we, we bring together the heads of states of our member states at annual summit meetings. These meetings provide an opportunity for them to review the progress of the previous year and to discuss the activities for the following year. Our foreign ministers also meet regularly and discuss issues relating to the work of Turkic Council and of common concern to the member states. In the economic field, we have several working groups which hold regular meetings to discuss how the investment climate can be improved, how the economic activities can be diversified, and how entrepreneurship can be supported in our member states. Cooperation in transport and customers. Areas is also vital for the future for, of our economic relations. We have been working on phasing all the barriers in the way of efficient trade relations in the region. Another field in the cultural and educational area, we created a university union preparation are underway to establish a common higher education area. This looks like European Union Erasmus, pro Erasmus project to enable mobility of students and academicians. Another project in this area is a youth and sport. We organized the first world nomic, uh, nomadic games in Kyrgyzstan, traditional sport disciplines last year, and we are preparing to stay the first university sport games before the end of this year in Turkey. An area that combines economic and cultural fields is tourism for which our member states have a, have a huge potential. We want to utilize the valuable historical, cultural, and natural attractions along the historical Silk Road by organizing joint tour package. As your international organization, Turkey Council high level is cooperation with other international organization and process. Currently, it has development ties with the United Nations OSCE, Organization Islamic Cooperation, Black Sea Economic Cooperation, ECHO, World Customer Cooperation, European Union, CUICA, and the Heart of Asia Istanbul process on Afghanistan. Turkey Council in, is an observer at uh, ECHO and has pending observer status application as the OIC and the United Nations. We regularly participate in the ministerial meetings of the OCCA, OIC, and Heart of Asia Istanbul process on Afghanistan. We recently signed Memorandum of Understanding with ECHO and World Customers Organization. In order to deepen cooperation with the United Nations and OIC, Turkey Council, as well as its related and affiliated organizations, have been working together with the related bodies of the UN and OIC. In this respect, Turkey Council organized joint projects and events with UNDP, UNICEF, United Nations World Tourism Organization, UN UNESCO, ASIC, and OIC Youth Forum. We have colleagues from UNDP here. I am happy to inform yet, uh, you about the joint project we are planning for next fall in Istanbul. We are closely cooperating with UNDP's regional office for Europe and CIS countries based in Istanbul. As a result of our discussions, we have decided to co-organize a high-level international conference on ICT on development in Istanbul. Dear guests, I am sure everyone here 
understand and appreciate the importance of international cooperation. In this respect, Turkey Council highly values its partnership with other international organizations with different specializations and also another state and country. Turkey Council wishes to be an active member of the international com community and provide added value to the effort and discussion for the benefit of the people of our region and all of the world. That's why we have applied for an observer status as a United Nations General Assembly, because the UN General Assembly is a place where the international agenda is discussed and formulated, and we want to be part of this process. I hope that Turkey Council pending application for observer status in the United Nations General Assembly will be favorably considered as the next meeting of the Sixth Committee. Favorable conclusion of the Turkey Council application will strengthen our commitment to work toward our shared matter to in of interest. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, of course, that's why I'd like to reiterate that once again. Thanks for everybody who accepted invitation our permanent representative as a status uh, chairman in office, Turkey, and attended here and uh, uh, listened to me. Thanks for you, that's all. Thanks you.